Welcome back to the Grandmaster Troll Racing Channel. I'm very, very excited. We finally got the car back. We got it back yesterday. We got the, we got the, let's see if I can flip this around. Not recent. There we go. We got the 97 Firebird back from the transmission shop. We got it back from the transmission shop. Everything's going good. I cleaned it up yesterday. I went to go get new tires yesterday, but the tire shop didn't have the Pacific tire, so we ordered it and it came in today. So yesterday I washed the car and vacuumed the car today. I was, after I vacuumed, I noticed I had this in the trunk right here, as you can see. I don't know what that is. I think it's laundry detergent, not mold, but I'm going to vacuum that up out the car. I'm going to take some of these parts, put them in the attic so they're not so they're not in my car. Lighten up the load a little bit, have a little bit more trash in the car. But we're going to take the tires, or should I say get new tires today. And then we're going to go on the drive. We're going to hang out and see if the transmission really works and there's anything else wrong with the car. I think everything was fixed. Cost a whole bunch of money just to bring it back to life. So yeah, that's what we're doing pretty much for today. So let's get right to it. Let's start the vacuum. Okay, we done vacuum out the back of the trunk, as you can see. Whatever that was, if it was mold or let me see if I could get it on there. Whatever it was, you can see all the mold and stuff is gone. Detergent, it's gone. We got to clean up a couple of other areas, but. This is as best as I can get it. I ain't got that much time to be out here trying to make it spick and span. Well, since I got that done, I'm gonna load up some of this stuff, put some of the other, these parts in the basement, and I guess I'll vacuum the Corvette since I got this vacuum out here. So, yeah, but the trunk is clean. So as you can see, the tire is flat right there. You can see all the cracks and stuff in the tire, which is why we need to go to the tire shop. But I'm going to put some air in this tire so we have enough air to get there. This should be the last time I have to worry about these bad tires for a couple of years. So let's fill, let's fill it up with some air. We got the trusty cigarette tire pumper. I think I bought this from a rock. I think I bought that from O'Reilly's or AutoZone, one of them places, but whenever I've been in a pitch, whenever I've been in a pitch, that's what we use to put air in the tire, so it's gonna fill up right now. So as you can see, it's filling up with air. The tire shop is about a mile away, so it's not that far away. So once we get these new tires and then we could be able to drive it on the freeway test it out and see what it could do I'm getting all these damn spider webs damn I just washed the car yesterday now I'm getting all these spider webs I really don't like spiders that much so we'll just knock those off with our foot so that should be enough air for our three mile drive so next stop the tire shop so we made it to the tire shop as you can see we're putting two brand new tires on it I had to wait in line for about 30 minutes but hey it's all fun so the tires are getting put on now and once the tires get put on then we could test drive the car but i'm going to chill out for a little bit and relax and let them do the work So we're at the park chilling. We got the new tires on and we are ready to make the first drive. That's right, we're gonna make the first drive in the Firebird since it's getting close to getting back put together. So let's start the engine. Gotta do a quick drive because yeah, yeah, we ain't registered yet. The car been set for a year and a half. We don't pay for it. registration on cars we don't drive, so make sure I don't crash into nothing. Make sure my 360 cam stays on. Let's see, what is it doing? Is it staying on? Is 
the turn in? Is it straight? It's looking like it wants to bend. It looks like it's staying. It looks like it's staying. Go over the first little bump right here. Yeah, yeah, it fell down. So we're going to adjust the camera. We're definitely going to adjust the camera. giving us the angle we want not quite not quite but hey i'd rather not lose my camera than break it so we should be on Let's see it looks good it looks good we got cars coming we got cars coming He was like, what is that on the back of his car right there? So we're taking the back roads of Fairview. After we pass this roundabout up here. Which are pretty much all canyons and we'll go through all four gears to see what we get. A small little test run. No engine light on. It's been a while since the Firebird had no engine light on. Knock on wood. Okay, you didn't want to. Was it not shifting? Come on, come on, come on. Still feels like it don't want to shift. Okay, it shifted. One of the things I noticed about the transmission, it didn't feel like it shifted in the four, but I, I really couldn't tell. And so we'll see. First gear, second gear. I 
how it takes so long to get in the third. Everything else feels smooth. We're going fifty. Another roundabout, break, breaks, 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 breaks. Okay. Definitely need a new steering wheel. Okay, we made it back to our street. So I think I know what the problem is or as in there's not a problem but I'll wait till I get inside the house and we'll talk about the car and how much everything costs so I'll see you guys inside GoPro stop recording made it home after putting new tires on the Firebird so I think I think everything is good with the Firebird I think the gearing was just long then I didn't have enough room to accelerate to get to the next gear but the car ran fine it was smooth now we gotta talk about how much it costs so we gotta bring up the invoice and shout out to stress-free auto care of castro valley they were all right they told me everything that was wrong with the car but shit shouldn't have been much no windshield wipers rear lights transmission they said I had a, a leaky valve cover, so we got to do that. Then we got to do the control arms, but we did the transmission. We did the drive shaft. We did the lights and wiper blades, and all of that ran me $5,337. So that's how much all of that ran me to get the car fixed. So shout out to Stress Free Auto Care. A good shot but you guys let me know for all of that work parts and labor i think labor was like three thousand dollars to do a transmission to do the drive shaft uh transmission lines what else uh tail lights headlights and blinkers and wiper blades so hey i guess with inflation ain't nothing's gonna be cheap now we gotta pay but any plans with the Firebird? Uh, I'm gonna still trying to restore. Still needs a couple of things. You know, needs the passenger side window doesn't go down. It needs AC, especially for summertime because it's gonna get hot out here in California. So we need AC. Uh, I definitely, I definitely want to put a, either a racing stripe on or a Firebird. I want to do wheels. I want to do an exhaust. Maybe a turbo build. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But I'm just going to enjoy the car and drive it. So those of you at home, if you like F bodies like I do, I always got to keep an F body. You know, this Firebird and cost me a lot of money. I could have got me a WS6 Trans Am. If I would have known better before I had the engine rebuilt, I would have did that. But I got a healthy V6 to at least drive for the next... 50,000 miles, maybe 100,000 miles, however long a rebuilt transmission and a rebuilt engine is supposed to last as you do all the maintenance stuff. But I want to thank you guys for watching the video. If you guys like F body content, if you like Corvette content, car vlogs, that's what I'm going to do. So, with that said, it's your boy, the Grandmaster Troll. Peace.